Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I signed up for a YouTube account back in 2006, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Now, I had been uploading videos to the internet ever since I could. Recording videos on a floppy disk in a digital camera that could accommodate a floppy disk is the removable media because it was easier and USB didn't exist back in the day. Long story short, I've been doing videos for quite some time. However, despite most of the videos in this particular YouTube channel being related to tech at this point in time, I didn't start out on YouTube creating tech videos. Still, I do like doing technology videos on YouTube for a lot of reasons. One, because it's fun to share my opinions and thoughts and perspectives with other people. And two, because technology is becoming an increasing part of our lives. It's increasingly pervasive. You just can't avoid it. And so many people turn to my channel for my opinions and perspectives. Now, this is in stark contrast to, well, I've begun to say this, and it's it's be become my opinion that there are two types of people who watch videos on YouTube, or specifically tech videos, uh, and I guess even more specifically, reviews related to technology products on YouTube. There are those who watch the video to get my opinion, and there are those who watch the video to try to get me to validate their opinion. And unfortunately, it's the latter that causes the most amount of problems. I am not going to ever stop telling the world what I think, whether it's related to tech or not. The challenge is making people, or at least helping people understand that my perspective is still my perspective. It doesn't take away from their perspective. It's an opinion. We can all have different opinions. And just because I choose something for personal technology doesn't mean that everybody has to choose that. That's really kind of rude. And unfortunately, on YouTube, when it comes to technology, a lot of people want to project themselves and their own biases onto other people and other people's biases because everybody's biased because we all have opinions we all have perspectives we all have different experiences so when i do a video that's related to technology as i will likely continue to do until the day i die maybe even after if i can convince my friends and family to allow me to live stream my decomposition in my coffin if i decide to decompose instead of like you know incinerating myself and scattering my ashes about the galaxy and littering the universe much like i have with the videos that i've done on youtube uh, <laughs> I, I like talking about me, and that's really what YouTube's about. YouTube's about you and me, and it's where we share these experiences that it becomes a beautiful thing, and that's the value of YouTube. And technology, I mean, without technology, really, uh, is what brings us together. So without technology, we wouldn't come together. We wouldn't have something like YouTube, and YouTube's less about the videos and more about the connections we make with other people. And that's something that I've, try to keep in mind over the years, even though when I started the YouTube channel, it really had nothing to do with technology. Uh, some of my original videos on YouTube were in my attempts at entertainment. In fact, the very first video I did on YouTube landed on the front page back when that was a big deal and it was even an option. Uh, so I've been using it for quite some time, but the, the channel has never always been about just one thing, certainly not just about tech, because my life what I put on YouTube is not just about one thing, it's about me. That's the one thing that it's about, and technology is a part of my life, just like it's a part of your life, and I think that is why. Even if you don't think it's a part of your life, it's a part of your life. Technology is everywhere. It's one of the reasons why I like doing tech videos on YouTube, even though I don't think YouTube wants technology to be around. We got a shoot with, uh, I mean, cast aside, with the first YouTube Geek Week, not a single technology video was featured. Not a single technology, quote unquote, personality was featured, which tells me more than anything that YouTube doesn't care about technology half as much as technologists care about technology. But again, it uh, doesn't surprise me at all because technology is an enabler. It's not a destination. There are not a lot of people who want to watch technology to be entertained or watch technology related videos or technology topics to be entertained. Very few in the you know galaxy that exist who would want to experience technology like that. So this is one of the reasons why I've enjoyed continuing to do vlogs and opinion type of videos, not just about tech, but geek stuff in general, or just anything that interests Chris Perillo, because that's what this channel's about, Chris Perillo. And if you don't like it, well, you don't have to subscribe, because it doesn't hurt me a bit. I love tech. Who doesn't?